So this poster was also presented today uh, and uh, we have explored the largest cohort that we know of, at least to date, of patients with systemic amyloidosis. Uh, and we have explored um, the prevalence of CHIP in this patient population of clonal hematopoiesis of indeterminate potential. There has been uh, really seminar work conducted of the impact of CHIP on a number of outcomes. Uh, and also this has been explored in other plasma cell disorders. Uh, but amyloidosis has hasn't really been uh, delved into in, in a large manner. Mm -hmm. So we were interested in seeing if CHIP was more prevalent in our patients with AL amyloidosis, if there was any impact on the outcome or certain characteristic of patients that pertains to organ involvement and particular uh, cardiac disease. So these are our first uh, uh, you know, preliminary data, taking, taking a look at that. And we have already found interesting association between CHIP um, incidence and the presence of translocation 11 for in patients with amyloidosis, uh, which we know is a negative prognostic factor. And this obviously raised the question if the negative prognostic factor brought about by 1114 may have anything to do with the co-occurrence of CHIP uh, in higher prevalence in this patient. I just want to really recognize uh, the, uh, the researcher who have uh, done this work. This is work of uh, Paolo Lopedote uh, and in collaboration with my friend and colleague uh, Nicola Bolli and the prior work on the uh, SNARES protein in, uh, in plasma cell disorders is work brought about by Dr. Mospin, uh, who's currently a resident at Stanford and previously a postdoc in my lab, uh, and by Dr. Emre Karayo, who's currently a postdoc in my lab.